Hello YouTube, so I thought I would do another video. So this is basically edited or revision of my last video. So this is how to um, enable TPM 2.0 and secure boot on the um, ASRock X470 motherboard. Now specifically, this is the X470 uh, Master SLI. Um, I think there's also a Wi-Fi version, but it's exactly the same. I presume the Tai Chi um, version would be the same as well. Now, obviously, you're most likely doing this to install Windows 11. Um, bef but before you want to continue, before you want to do anything, is you want to check how you have Windows 10 already installed. So at the moment, we have Windows 11 installed, but it's exactly the same for Windows 10. So you want to hit the um, Windows key, and we want to look for System Information. So um, under this section here, we can see our motherboard, and we can see our BIOS mode is UEFI. Now Windows 11 um, at the moment wants your original Windows installation to be installed as a UEFI um, and not legacy. So if you're seeing a legacy written here, please watch another video on either how to convert this because you can convert it over without losing any data. It's a little bit complicated. Um, but it's, it is easy enough. Okay, so turn off the PC, turn it back on, and we're going to be booting into the UEFI. Uh, yeah, so we spam delete. And again, you can click F11 there for boot menu. If you were to be installing the Windows 10, Windows 10 again off of a USB drive. And again, if you are, make sure you click on the UEFI version. Again, I'll probably flash that up on the screen now just to show you what I mean. So um, once you've done that and you've converted it over to UEFI, we can go ahead and we can look at turning on Secure Boot and TPM 2.0. Now I do recommend um, upgrading to the latest um, BIOS, which you can download off of um, ASRock's website and up update through their um, flashing software. So what we want to do, we want to come over to um, we want to come over to Advanced, um, and we want to go. Um, CPU configuration and then we scroll down here and we see AMD FTPM switch um, so again here we can um, enable that AMD CPU FTPM once we've done that we can then look at turning on secure boot so you want to go ahead to secure boot option here now at first if we try and enable it it will give us this option here. So we need to disable the CSM in setup. Repeat operation after reboot to ensure the UEFI video driver is operational. So, okay, so under boot, at the bottom here, we got CSM compatibility. So we can go ahead and disable. Okay, so once you've disabled that, we need to save changes and exit. And then we want to load back up into the um, BIOS again. Same again, spam delete. And now if we go back over to security and we go on to secure boots, we should now be able to enable that um, again. So once you've enabled secure boot, we have also um, we have also gone under CPU configuration and enabled AMD CPU FTPM. We can go ahead and we can um, exit, save changes, and yes. Okay, so now we've loaded back into Windows. We can go to device security. And here we can see the um, secure boot is on, preventing malicious software from loading when your device starts up. And we can see that the security processor TPM is also enabled. And if we click that, we can see um, it is the TPM on the AMD that is turned on. So um, that is it, really. Um, hopefully um, that helps. And hopefully that um, gives you some advice when installing Windows 11, um, because some of the security um, requirements are a little bit more, um, uh, more higher for Windows 11. But again, thanks for watching. And uh, maybe check out some of my other non-PC-related videos. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye.